one of the most significant paintings to come to auction in a generation. Christie's chairman for 20th and 21st century art, Alex Rotter, unveiled Monday a work he and the auction house expect to set the new record for the most expensive piece of 20th century art to sell at auction, one of Andy Warhol's 40 by 40 inch Marilyn Monroe's. With an estimate of around $200 million. Warhol started his Marilyn series in 1962, uncharacteristically returning to the icon two years later. It shows what Marilyn meant to him and now what Marilyn means to us. And also uncharacteristically for this fast-working artist, using a meticulous screening technique so labor-intensive he never used it again. He was very careful about how to set the hair, how to set the face. Her lips are actually where they need to be. One of the five 40 by 40 Marilyns. They belong to the best collectors in the world and always have. Last sold in 1998, shattering its $3 million estimate when it sold for $17 million, Rotter argues starting the contemporary art market. When a painting like this uh, comes to auction, it changes the market not only for Warhol, but it changes the market itself. All of the proceeds from the auction of this Maryland, owned by the Thomas and Doris Amon Foundation, will go to yet-to-be-identified charities benefiting children, their health, and education over the next three to six years. She stands along the most famous and most recognizable portraits, not only of our time, but of art history. Rotter called the work one of the most transcendent images of the 20th century, comparing its significance to some of the most iconic portraits of all time. Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, with Picasso's Demoiselle d'Avignon, with Manet's Olympia. The painting's now available for appointment viewings at Rockefeller Center before departing on a trip to Hong Kong and Taipei in early April and going up for auction in May. I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.